What's going on everybody? DJ Gohem here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back. Today, we are on Mercury Farms and we are cleaning up some poo. Because these cows have made a mess. A whole mess. We've already got one big bucket full. This is our second. Not really that full, but eh, full enough. We got what we need. So we've got a lot of new stuff on the mod, uh, mod hub that we can use for all kinds of things. Speaking of, I wonder if we could dump... Yeah, we'll dump the rest of it in there later. So we've got the manure ready to go. We've picked up with this video where we left off with the last one. Because I wanted to go through and show you exactly what we're going to have to do before we do whatever's next. So let's get this brought over here. Put away. About right there. Man, this thing's hard to drop. I'm learning. That's why we got it. We're learning. We're learning together. This is a DJ Go Ham Fam. No, not DJ Go Ham Fam. It has nothing to do with me. It's the Go Ham Fam. As you guys love you. All right, we got everything where we need to be there. Let's take a look over here. What do we got? So we've got four fields right now. We have cotton in G2. We have grass in G1. Then we have 32, 33 is oats and 29 is corn. They're in their last growth stage right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward time just a bit. We're going to see and wait until everything is ready. Now, one thing I thought about doing was getting a... Uh, getting a harvester and taking all this out and using it as extra. I made... Uh, what do we do? Hang on. Stop the time. Let's just, just take a look at it. So 30... Actually, is this... Uh, this needs stuff, doesn't it? Let's see. It's ready to harvest. It needs plowing. Let's see. What's a fertilization? Needs lime and not fertilized. So that may turn out to be... I wouldn't say a loss, but this cotton is the least that it would grow. I mean, the, yeah, we're not even going to mess with that. So let's jump back in here, bring it here, and fast forward time. Ready to be harvested. The corn is ready to go. The oats are ready to go. But we, we're not ready to go yet. <laughs> We've got stuff to, uh, well, we got stuff to do here. Something that came out that I really, really like is this guy right here. The Lizard Violet SXHV30. This guy costs us $25,000, requires 150 horsepower, has a 7.8 meter working width. I like it. I don't know if I want to get it yet, but I know that I like it. So we've got that on our list. Something else we need, corn headers. We've got our John Deere. we got the baby John Deere. Now, we could either go for something big, but I think uh, think the 12 is just going to be a little too much. What we're going to do is we're going to go for the 9 meter. That's right, we're going to go for the 9 meter. And because we've got so much going on, we're going to buy. That's right. Oh yeah, you heard it. Yeah, yeah. We are going to buy this guy right there. That means we're going to have to get it over here. That's not going to be any fun. But I think we could probably figure that out on our own. Next, we've got to find a way to get the straw up. I keep saying we need to get something for this. Now, we could go with something like this Riptide right here. Holds 35,000 liters. Not too shabby either. There you go. It's a beautiful thing. I, I really like this. I got to be honest with you. I really like that. For pricing, the biggest Riptide is the best one. The best one. This little Crone right here. Not awful either, but as far as our price range goes and what we can afford... At least right now because we haven't sold any water or manure today because we did that yesterday which was technically today in games so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to do that nonetheless i think we could let the straw hang out for a bit so let's grab our harvester let's run over get our corn header and get that started i was just asked by management when we got over here if we'd like to go ahead and get this guy repaired now it doesn't want to go in there I'm trying to get it to fit, but it's just not doing it. There's something that's keeping this from going in there. But I want to see, can we do it? Can we get this guy in? We gotta be, right? There's gotta be a way to do this. It's just catching. There's something above the harvester right there that's catching it. So let's just put it right there. Oh, we are way too high. Come in here. We should be able to do everything just the same, which we can. Let's go ahead and repair it. Yes, please. Boom, boom, boom. That was 1700 bucks to repair this guy. But we've got more power now. It'll move a little quicker. 
Ah, yeah. Let's get this. Boom, baby. Now, on to getting the corn. What do you guys think, first off, about the yellow corn header on the front? Definitely one of my favorite headers. I love the John Deere look. And there's a whole lot of green on this guy. But everybody notices the John Deere green. Not a lot of people talk about the John Deere yellow that goes along with it. Without that yellow, the green would be just a green tractor. Which is why I've actually... Do you know of any green tractors that have just normal wheels? We've got yellow here. Fent has red. Uh, it was a portrait on their green stuff is, is kind of odd colored as well. Let's see. There's another brand that's green as well in there. Ah, dudes. They've got the, uh, they've got that. Let's see. Wasn't there one more? Yeah, Fent. <laughs> Fent has red wheels too. Oh yeah, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wait, didn't I just say Fent? Yes, I did. Oh well, moving on. No, don't hire a worker, dummy. Stop, stop unfolding. There we go. John Deere is all good going for it and going good. This ground is as good as we can possibly make it. It is all the way up. Fertilized, lime, plowed, everything. One thing is, We've only got one truck. We sold our auger wagon. I know, I know. I'm waiting for the new one to come out. So in the meantime, we've got this guy right here. And this is working just fine. I think we're going to be able to go up and then back down. And then maybe back up and back down again, possibly. We'll see what we can do there. First, it would be nice to go ahead and get some more work done. So we've got that field over there. I had an idea. And my idea was to... Well, lease another one of these guys doesn't cost that much about 14,000 stick some big wheels on there to make it look good right at 15 grand not awful especially with the money that we can make every day and we've already got the header for it so we don't need anything else we just need that thing but then you start to think and you're like well you know for that I could do that but then I you know just go up like another ten thousand dollars and go for a big 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 one so what do you do so yeah we went with it <laughs> the biggest one of them all and we've got duels on here of course we've got duels on here what what else would we put on it um this is the tricky part because i don't want to get stuck on anything We've got to go through here nice and slow, nice and easy. Oh, this part right here ain't going to be fun. Oh, this is going to suck, ain't it? Yep, yep, this is going to suck. Um, Can we get through here? This was a bad idea. If I didn't have this hedge here, which I refuse to... Oh, we about lost the header. I refuse to go through and delete that hedge. I want that to stay there. Now we might be able to fit over there. All right, let's drop this here. Let's spin this around. Oh, this is dangerous. Yep, yep, figured that'd be dangerous. Come on, come on. Nice, easy, just pick it up. Got it. All right, this is the part right here that's gonna be tough. Ooh, helper bees down a nearly full grain tank. No! Where is it? Oh, they're almost at the top. Come on, come on, come on, stop, stop, stop. Stop it. Whew. There's all kinds of stuff going on, I'll tell you what. All right, let's get this guy. Um, there's got to be a way in with that thing. There's got to be a way in and it not be absolutely hilarious. Ugh, pray for me. We're going to try and find that way. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. So we're going to back and pull up right here and then use the rear wheel steering that this has to swing it around. And we are good. Now we are kind of, oh, don't get too close to the crop. Come on. Come on. Don't get too close to the crop. Oh, it's hitting the top. That's okay. So we're trying to stay as far away from the crop as we possibly can. There is an opening down here, and we are going to use said opening to our advantage. There we go. And then drop, uh, open this up. Make sure that we have straw swath enabled, which we do. And then this should, hypothetically, be just fine. Let's see here. Set this, find a nice little path. I always set workers whenever I'm using straw swath 
because they do a perfectly straight straw swath. You don't have to come back through and do all this crazy stuff trying to follow. Be like, DJ, what? Why do you suck? Why did you drive so bad? I don't have to worry about that. With this guy, it does it absolutely for me. Nothing to it but doing it. Also, this is huge. I know it's huge. Way too big for this field. I love it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are going to be doing our headlands right now. I'm going to be doing this first pass right here. Then we're going to swing, take a right, head down the field, and then we're going to head up the field. And then at the other end, we're going to send the worker down the field and let them just go chow, chow, chow. Up and down, back and forth, do it, do it, yeah, yeah. Turns out one thing that I did not do was sell the auger wagon. Thought I had, I swore that I had sold it. I, I, I did, I did, I did sell it. And yet, and yet, it is sitting right here. Oh, I thought it was gone. Let's grab it real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Let's take this over to, oh, come on, let me out of here. <laughs> Let's take this over to the corn because the oats, We'll go fine in there. Actually, could the corn go in here? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just take this over to the oats. Oats aren't going to make nearly as much as the corn will. So how about we bump that in, bring this over here. Now, I think both of them are on course right now to not be picked up. That is accurate. And this is going to be able to go all the way down, come back all the way down there again but this guy oh i just turned it off too didn't i this guy's gotta go get the corn come on come on go 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 80 percent full now the corn doesn't matter as much as the oats do if it stops especially if it's on the right side however the uh the oats did stop so we will have a break in the straw at least at one point which stinks oh it stinks a lot and one thing about these, if you can catch the harvester before it goes into the crop, you can get it to unload and stop. But we don't want to do that. We want to get everything done on the move. If we can get it done on the move, then we are good. We can get it done on the move. We get this done a whole lot faster. They might be able to do it in one pass. What is this? A 12 row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, what was that? Ten rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve row, twelve row. How much corn's over here? <laughs> what? I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten rows. So we're technically getting more corn now than's on the other side. Ooh, that's going to be close. That's going to be very, very close. Sorry for counting out loud. I know you guys don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the rest of this corn. Now, we're not getting a whole bunch of corn, but we're getting enough to make a difference. And this is going towards the pigs. This is going straight to the pigs. The oats will be sold. However, the straw will not be. Quit doing funky stuff at the end. You're being weird. Nobody likes a weirdo, you weirdo. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> Let's see if we get these guys to finish up. One thing we will have to do is come through here and plow. We do have a plow. It's going to, well, it's going to take it a while. Um, I wonder if there's any other plows that we can get. We could do a subsoiler. However, those are a little bit smaller plows. The only squared off plow we have is the Weba. Now, we could go with the Framus pack. But again, we already have the Weba. So why would we not? As a matter of fact... We might as well just go get the Weba now. It's not going to make that much difference. We're going to come through here and get all this anyway, but... Might as well get the Weba, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get that. Throw it on the back of something and send it on its way. Before that Weba goes, we've got to get this guy unloaded. I said he'd be able to come down and back, down and back. And he has, but he's at 80% now. We've got to get him done. Also, over there, way off the distance center of the uh center of the screen where the smoke is coming up that is where the alien spaceship is 
it's out of the map though you can't get over there on foot so um let me know your inventive ways to get over there i know how i get over there to check it out but it's not on foot so let me know down in the comment section below how do you get over there or how would you how do you rather get over there or how would you if you were playing this map very interested in that here we go. See, this works perfect. I'm so glad we had this. I thought we had sold it. Oh, I was so worried. But we're good to go. Oats are going in, and we are just fine. And there are no breaks except for that one right there in the straw. I was hoping for a perfect field. A perfect field is beautiful when there's straw swaths straight up and down. Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Can't have it here, though. Can't have it today. We should be about done here. I think we get about 14,000 uh, 14, in there right at it to 14,200 we hit it baby we hit it so we're just going to continue straight down maybe we help this guy out just a little bit so he can get the rest of the field done for us and then we're going to grab the manure spreader which i totally forgot we had so we're going to grab the manure spreader and we're going to lay down a layer of manure before we plow yeah, yeah here we go here we go this should be plenty big to pull this i know it's going to be heavy but I know it can also pull. Now we do have worker by manure. I think we need to turn that off so we can get rid of some of this manure. But for now, I think it's okay. I'm gonna see how much it uses and how much the price is for the manure first. Now I think after that we'll be good. So we do need to unfold. There we go. And it is just about ready to come out of there. I think it gives us a 12 meter, but we're gonna start, uh, yep. Yeah, pretty good far on his far side let's uh hire a worker let's see how the money's going down eh, money's going down a little bit faster than i would like it to if i'm honest let's see if uh let's see manure off so it does use it fairly quickly hmm you know what? Let's leave it off. Let's go get our telehandler. This guy. Let's go fill it up with manure. If you guys didn't know, you can fill these buckets up with manure. Now, I'm worried that because it's in here and it's very difficult to uh, tilt, I wonder if it's actually going to go in here or not. We may have to get semi-truck and do it in, this, in the uh, field. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Manure? There we go. Ooh, it's filling it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's getting heavy. There we go. There's our manure. Yes, it works. We'll just take this, set this by the field whenever it says, you know, workers finished, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll just dump this in there and we get to go. We'll go get another bucket full. Yes, that is perfect. Well, you can't say the workers are not innovative. However, you can say that they're bad. Why are you bad? You got to the other end just fine. What's the problem over here? Can we even get this guy backed off? I think we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, don't do not do that. Don't do that. Come on, turn, turn, turn. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. You're dumb. You're dumb. Wait, no, that's my character. Worker, whoever the worker was, you're dumb. While we're here, we may as well do this right here. Get this brought about there. There we go. Perfect. And over to the Manitou. There we go. And lift it up. Oh, we're sliding on poo right now. We're sliding. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Now, will it take more than this? Or is this going to be a good amount? Or will it not? Oh, Helper E has completed their task. Who is Helper E? Took most of it yep took most all of it but except 919 liters there we go let's get that dropped off let's jump back in our jcb hire that worker again gosh who is this a woman this time hey at least it's a woman this time you will do a good job i know you will and this guy's done sweet so all this is good this guy's good this is done we will have to come through here and get the straw up it's just not going to happen today and let's see which side do we go on this side yeah this side right here how much do we end up getting Ten thousand liters here and then dumping in here i hope we don't tip this thing out 
So this is going to get full-ish. Let's take a look at what we've got here. So we got 17,000 liters almost exactly in there. How are we looking? Come on through. Give me the rest of what you got. I want to know how much oats we got today. What did we get? 17,000 plus. Okay. So 30... 43,750 exactly. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all for a day's work on an oat field. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you know, already, please subscribe if you have any questions. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. We're having a good time over here on Mercury Farms. Thank you, Alien Jim, for a beautiful map, for a wonderful map, for a darn near perfect map. It is a very, very enjoyable to be on here. And a lot of my time not playing Farming Simulator is thinking about playing this map right here. But that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.